All right, I wanted to touch real quickly here on the two most common push-up form errors that we see uh, in the gym and some corrections that we can do that are pretty cool using the band push-ups to work on it. So let's go ahead and look at the first one here. It's going to be arms too, for, too far forward with forward head posture. And we've got Dustin here demonstrating that form. Uh, as he pointed out, this is the most common one that we see for whatever reason with women. Um, very, very common. A lot of the women that come into the gym when they first go to demonstrate a push-up He's exaggerating it here, but they usually come with their arms too far forward and their head down. So, um, Next, you're going to see him show the same exact push-up, only now he's doing it as a band push-up. Sort of stumbled across this by accident, but I, I now like not only using the band push-ups as an exercise, but also using it to assess movement for this. So you can see Dustin here. The line that we want to see is should be straight down, so it should be more along here. Um, just setting up, he already has that posture, which you're going to see he's going to follow his arms being so far forward. So pretty cool to see that. Let's go ahead and watch him do a few reps here. Like I said, he's really exaggerating it. What he's doing actually takes a good bit of strength in itself. And now we're going to watch it from overhead. So same idea. We're looking to see a straight line all the way across the, the J cups there. Um, and we obviously aren't. We're getting more along the lines of this little wiggly line going here. Um, so... The reason for, for showing it this way is pretty cool, just to kind of show you so that you can see it. The client gets visual feedback. Tell him, you know, I want you to keep that band straight. The next one that he's going to go ahead and demonstrate is going to be a weak core with the arms too far back. Super common with the guys. A lot of the guys that come in demonstrate this. I do get some of the younger girls that have, that have grown really fast, um, a, little bit, a little bit too fast for their body. Definitely have come in and demonstrated this. But uh, he's going to do the same thing here with the band now. So once again, look at that line. Not as bad. His arms are in a little bit of a better position. They are aiming back slightly. Um, rather than being straight down, he is back a little bit. We're getting closer here, but uh, if you watch, his core is going to be pretty darn weak. So, same thing from the overhead position. Once again, we're looking to see that straight line coming across. We are not. We're getting more along the lines of this little loop going on through here, which we don't want. So let's go ahead and take a look at him finishing that one out. And the next thing we're going to see, we're finally going to watch him correct form. So if you look here at the bottom position, his arms are just outside of his chest. So you can see right here, hand positioning just outside of his chest. Good. Um, Dustin does have some back issues. He's actually getting surgery soon. But uh, so he does have a little bit going on there. He has different problems going on in his lumbar spine. But Pretty good core stability here. Definitely not as bad as it was before, but uh, let's watch a few reps here. Pretty good. Next, he's gonna go ahead and shut out in the band. So now, say that you did have a client, pretty darn straight here. There's still a slight angle, but it is not bad. He's pretty straight. If you were to draw a line um, from there, you can see this one, if I were to continue it out, it is gonna wind up going a little bit up in an angle there. Not terrible though, much better than we were before. So let's go ahead and watch a few reps here. Hands are gonna come down right outside of the chest. You can see the band isn't really going too far forward, too far back, anything, same thing, watching the overhead. So I don't have the best angle in the world here. Apparently I didn't get the one Jacob right there. You can kind of see it. Let's go back a little bit. Where was it? Right there, we can catch the edge of it. So. Let's draw a line from that J cup across to the other one. You can see the band stays pretty much on that line. It's not really going too far forward or too far back. So, like I said, that's just a, something that we've been using as a little bit of an assessment tool uh, with our clients. More of a visual cue for the client to be able to say, hey, I just want you to keep this band in a straight line. If they see it going too far forward or too far back, it's just quick feedback without you having to say, oh, move your arms, move your arms. It's a lot easier whenever you let them know, hey, just go ahead and keep that band straight for me. So go ahead and give that a try on your own push-up, see how you do, and uh, let us know what you think.